Peterson Museum loves to participate in shows like this. I mean, it's it's right up the street, practically in our own backyard, and we like to support the kinds of charities and the kinds of a camaraderie that come along with these things, and we, we couldn't be happier to be here. Well, we're standing in front of the Peterson Museum's 1929 Ruxton, one of the very few front-wheel drive cars made in the classic period. It has its original straight eight engine and the color, which you can't ignore, kind of an, an orchid lavender shade, which is actually correct for the era, although we're not sure if it was uh, originally on this car or not, but we think it would certainly be nice if it had been. Uh, the car's been totally restored, uh, runs and drives as good as it looks, uh, and is so low uh, that it doesn't need running boards. Because of the front wheel drive mechanism, you don't have to worry about raising the passenger compartment to uh, accommodate a drive shaft, so you can keep it really low. So rakish, a great color, great engine, uh, and very rare. Well, I'm standing in front of another one of the Peterson Museum's prize collection. It's a 1923 Mercedes, but not a Mercedes-Benz, just Mercedes because it was built three years before Mercedes and Benz merged. It's got a gigantic six-cylinder engine, over seven liters, a single overhead camshaft, and the only engine that Mercedes used was actually derived from an airplane engine. Uh, the car is one of very few roadsters built. Most of, the, most of these cars were built on very long wheelbase for limousines and for touring car purposes, but this is one of the few on a short wheelbase for, for uh, sports car use. Um, this is one of hundreds of cars that are always on display at the Peterson Museum. And, uh, people are welcome to come down, visit us anytime. We're, we're open every day of the week, but Monday, right at the corner of Wilshire and Fairfax. So I encourage you to come on down and, and take a look at these and, and a couple hundred of our other cars.